Hello, Torek here, and welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV housing item video. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Pendant Wall Light, which was added to the game in patch 6.0. Before we begin, let's take a look at the tooltip. A chain strung lamp whose diminutive glow prioritizes fashion over function. It's a level 86 recipe, and to make it, you'll need these mats. 3 manganese ingot, 3 bismuth ingot, and 2 crystal glass. The manganese ingots are from mats in Elpis and the locks, while the bismuth ingots are from mats on the moon and tin ore from a material supplier. Both ingots are an easy synth once you have all the ore together. The crystal glass, however, requires a bit more work to make. The silex is an easy gather, while the natron required is a pre-craft. And then minium, which can be most easily obtained with Exali oak knots or with Grand Company seals. Now that it's made, let's get it placed and get a closer look at it. It has a neat design. It's mounted to the wall and the lamp hangs down from a long, thin chain and makes a small spotlight below it. This is really neat for lighting up specific things that you want to emphasize in your house, like food on display, for example. This would be great for restaurant-themed houses. And even though the tooltip describes it as diminutive, the higher up the wall you go, the bigger the spotlight gets. And surprisingly, it has a dye option. It's the little shade around the light that dies. Here are some examples. I think lighter colors look the best. Some of the darker ones can be pretty hard to distinguish the color. What do you think of the pendant wall light? Would you use it in your house? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please click that thumbs up and please consider subscribing for more Final Fantasy XIV news, minions, and housing item content. Thanks for watching. Till next time.